This is a photograph I took in Sutton Park. We've got a bit of a bland sky, but I'll come back to that in a minute. We've got a line of trees along here. There's a nice path, and I think I'll make that a bit wider and try and make a bit of a feature out of it, and maybe put a couple of figures walking off into the distance. Like I say, the sky's a bit boring, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the sky from another photograph. Now this is a photograph I took out of the window. Same blue sky, but obviously this time we've got a nice cloud formation which makes it a lot more interesting. So I'm going to use this sky on the Sutton Park landscape and hopefully it should prove to be a much more interesting painting. So I'm just going to wet the paper all over with clear water. 15 by 11 Fabriano watercolour paper. I'm using the large Ron Ranson Hake. Just a bit more water. And we're ready to go. A bit of raw sienna to start it off. Just a little bit of a glow at the bottom of the on the horizon. So I'm just gonna just take a bit of lemon yellow. Just a touch of light red. that in. Now I'm going into the ultramarine. A bit along the bottom as well. Now I'm going to put these clouds in next so it's Alizarine Crimson and Pines Grey for the cloud mix. Obviously the paper's pretty wet so I don't want much water in this mix. Plenty of paint. And we got a big one down here I think. And then some smaller ones across there. And then just to copy that down slightly into the ground area. And that'll do for that. Very easy to overdo it, so I'm just going to stop there before I get too mad. Refix the paper. I'm going to dry that slightly. Only slightly. So, next thing I'm going to do is put these, put these trees in. So, I'm going raw sienna and burn some back for a, to make a sort of bluey bluey greeny colour. Sort of green on the on the blue side. Cause it's because they're pretty quite far away. And blue helps push things back into the distance. So work out where our horizon's gonna be. I'm gonna about a third of the way up is where it normally goes. So somewhere like so. And start to work on this line of trees there.
No, I can see a few trunks and whatnot. So I'm just going to suggest these with a fingernail. So I'm just switching between raw sienna and ultramarine as I work my way along. Just keep varying, varying the colour. As I look at the photo, I can I can see lots of tree trunks going up here and there. So I'm just going to suggest those with a few flicks. I don't want to do too much. I think I'll leave it at that. So I'm going to clean the brush. And I'm going to go into the raw sienna. And just a touch of burnt umber. A bit more burnt umber I think. This is the this is the land in front of those trees. I'm just going to pull this pipe straight again. It's still stretching out slightly. Well, so I'm just going to work out where that path's going to go. So it's going to start off around here and sort of wind along there somewhere. So I'm going raw sienna, just a tint of pines grey. Bit too much there. More raw sienna. Burnt umber. Such a lemon yellow. Right. Now the land turns more of a red. I'm giving light red and raw sienna. Sweet rain. Moving over to the other side. I've got some few bushes there. goes back to a sort of raw sienna -y. So I'm going to keep preserve this path and I'm going to I want it to be quite wide at the bottom.
Now this area we've got a big bush. So I'm giving lots of lemon yellow, ultramarine. Pines grey. Few flips. Now on this side here, 